to uh, join us and enjoy this last part of the show and whatnot. Like I said, uh, Jeff Fox, who rocks the boxing squad affiliate, also on this here network, usually come on from 12 to 2 on a Monday. Uh, he got caught down there in the Bahamas, you know, doing an event down there. And uh, he can't get back right now, so he couldn't uh, fill his part. So I'm doing an extra hour for the fox that rocks the box. But uh, <clears throat> we got another call um, I need to make. You know what I'm saying? Since we're on a roll, um, might as well get it while it's hot. Come on, guys. Get it. Get it while it's hot. Yeah. Definitely that. We uh, we got another call uh, and whatnot. Yeah. Let me see now. Uh, okay. This one right here should be pretty interesting, too. Right? <clears throat> uh, 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 uh. Do, do, do. Yeah, loving you is always on my mind. I want to have you just one more time. Yes, I do. Leaving you is all that I can say. Girl, do it to me once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forwarded to an autom- uh, Oh, come on. Dun, 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 dun. Burr. Yeah, I guess um, some people, uh, they be on lunch. They don't want to be disturbed on lunch. You know, that's, <clears throat> that's a shame there. You know? Oh, but I, I, you know what? You know what? It never ends with the Chief Rocket. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make this call-in thing work. You know, see, it wouldn't be right if you set the shit up. Because you're going to have to have a couple of them that don't, you know, answer their phone. A lot of people think it's a bill collector. But my phone don't look, my phone number don't look like a bill collector. My phone is like a Georgia phone number. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Call up. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? Bam. Guess who stepped in the room? Bam. Yeah, what's going Chief. on? <laughs> yeah. Chief, what up? It's, it's Trey. What's good, man? <laughs> hey, man. Everything good, bro. Everything good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, I ain't complaining. Uh, only, thing, only thing that's not good, uh, um, all prayers go out to my mother. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, she yeah, trying to... Yeah, to mom, man. Yeah, yeah, she trying to hang mom, up. And, yeah. So that's the only thing not good in my life right now. But as far as everything else, you know, everything is all right, man. I mean, I can't complain right now. If I do, you know, nobody listening, you know? I, I actually thought you were going to say the only good, the only uh, bad thing was my singing as I uh, got on your show here. But, um, but oh, yeah, you were, not to your mother, man. Well, hold up. You were singing... I got. I missed you that. Mean, I missed that, man. Um, well, what was you saying, okay, man? Okay, good. Oh, okay, good. Good that you missed that. <laughs> but uh, let me uh, let me uh, give you a give you a little story real quick. So okay, um, go ahead, bro. So, the... What's up? I said, go ahead, give me the story. That give me time to drink some water. Right, right. So, so I'm in New York this weekend. Right. Past weekend, and, and you know, shout out to my family, my in laws. Um, my wife's grandmother turned ninety eight. Oh, big up to her, man. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, big man. Up. Still, still going strong. She, she's still, uh, she's still getting after it, man. So, wow. shouts out to her. That's big, and, bro. Um, and uh, shouts out to my pops too, man, because um, I, I had a chance to hang out with him in the city. Uh, Saturday night, it was it was me, him, um, his stepbrother, who he hadn't seen in like twenty something years, and then his stepbrother surprised my father with a guy they used to run together, you know, back in the day. Right. And it'd been about maybe thirty eight years since they uh -huh. saw each other, so you know that was a good look. So you know, I was with the OGs. You know, Saturday night, you know, hanging out. We was in Brooklyn at a nice little spot. 
um, you know, conversating, talking about, you know, they were talking about their past and all that. Right, I'm right. Watching game, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the games. I'm, I'm actually, I was disappointed that they didn't show the Wilder or Teague fight on TV, uh-huh. or at least, or at least where I was from, they didn't show that fight. They actually showed the Cavs getting beat by the Nuggets. Actually, what, what, what a story that is. But, um, but yeah, I, I watched the ending of that game, and the conversation came up about Mark Jackson. You know, amongst me and my pops and his his boys, whatever. And you know, those guys used to run with Mark Jackson back in the day. Right. If they okay. didn't know Mark. They, if they didn't know Mark, they knew his brother Troy. Rest in peace, Troy. They knew. Um, they also knew his um, wife. You know, from back in the day. And yeah. obviously, you know, St. John's alum, um, Bishop Lachlan alum, which is my high school that Mark right. Jackson graduated from. So right. there's a lot of connections, and um, some of the guys went to Lachlan, you know, years ago also. Right, right. But I brought up the I, I brought up the same thing that I was telling you about a few weeks ago when you called the show in, and I was like, I think that Mark Jackson is being blackballed from being an NBA head coach. Oh, true that. Very true. Yeah, that's so definitely I bought, true. I, right. So I brought that up, and um, one of the guys says that um, Mark Jackson. One of the reasons. Um, he felt that teams were kind of staying away from Mark Jackson in terms of being a coach is obviously the whole, you know, religious thing, you know, him being a pastor and all that stuff that kind of played a factor into it. But also the fact that, you know, he had an affair, which I thought was, what, four, five, six years ago, like probably around the time he got that Golden State job. Oh, and then. Yeah, Whoa. and then he had um, apparently he had gotten into it with another female. Also, I don't know okay. how much truth there is to that, but right. you know, from what the OGs was telling me Saturday night, I'm like, y'all, you're really giving me material, you know. But I ain't trying to, you know, run with that 100 percent all the way because I do like Mark Jackson. Well, Trey, I'm gonna tell you something. If an OG, if an OG tell you something, because I'm back, I'm older than Jack's Mark. Cause me and Mark had a party yeah. together at this club right around the corner from the garden called Justine's. Cause a, a young lady I knew, she was the manager, so they had two parties that night. Mark Jackson, they was on one side of the club, and we was on the other side. But then that before the night was over, we mixed up. And, you know, me and Mark, you know, we was dapping each other, talking, you know, St. John Knicks day, cause he was with the Knicks then, right? So if an OG right. tell you something, you better believe that shit is true. You know what I'm saying? But uh, right. you know, it's up to you to say if you want to say it or not. You know what I'm saying? You know, you you gotta have big kahunas to get out there and put it out there. You know? Right. But 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 some but somebody like me, I would do it due to the fact that, hey man, it's talk radio, man. I'll put anybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, Ch- yeah, uh, I agree with you. And I and I would and I would to second that. I would probably do it because, you know, mainstream's not going to catch that stuff. I mean, right. if, you talk to any, if you talk to anybody that, you know, grew up with these guys, and this is a, yeah. I mean, this is, this is a pretty big circle. When you talk right. about guys like um, Chris Mullen, Mark right. Jackson, right. Um, guys, that, guys that grew up in New York City, right. that played street ball, that been to these high schools and attended college locally, uh-huh. It's a tight it's a tight circle. It's a it's a real, real tight circle. These guys have hung out together in the past, they've been to spots together. But so let me let me ask you this. The, the, let me ask you this, Trey. Let me ask you this. I'm gonna let you continue. Like Thorny Switcher also said, uh by him being a hoe don't have nothing to do with him uh coaching, man. Because majority of the people in the, in all sports, they do that. That ain't nothing new. You know what I'm saying? So that That's shouldn't a be a reason. That shouldn't be a reason for him not getting a job. The reason him not getting a job is that uh, these here Gentiles is taking the advice from Golden State young ass motherfucking ownership about he's a troublemaker 
he want to put religion into your locker room and shit like that. That's the shit they trying to blackball him on. But everybody should have God in their life, and they should have God in, in, in their locker room. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of right, if he do it right. or not. But go ahead, finish what you got to say. But what about, I'll, I'll ask this question too, and the whole thing about, you know, color and all that, that's, that's a fact. But what about this angle where we know Mark Jackson preaches the gospel, he's a pastor, he's, you know, we've got, you know, videos on YouTube and everything preaching the gospel, whatever. What if people look at that and say, this guy's doing this, but on the other flip side, he's doing that, like, this dude's a straight up phony, like, we don't want to deal with that. What, what, what do you think about that? Hey, man, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's hard to swallow right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I look at it like this, man. Uh, like I was telling um, Deacon Dale, and I wasn't uh-huh. bullshitting. I wasn't bullshitting about this, what I said to Deacon Dale. I have went to clubs here, right around from me, and seen reverends in the club passing out their yep. cards, drinking, drinking. Yep. I seen one with some wine. I don't know what the other one had in this glass. And out there chasing these women, passing their cards out. You know what I'm saying? So that don't exclude uh, them for what they do on Sunday. But at the same time, they humans, they men too. You know what I'm saying? If any shit ain't working at the house, yeah. Hey, hey Chief, um, you, you see Eddie Long in them clubs? Oh, uh, shit. Was Eddie I, Long one of them guys? I, 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 was annoyed. I, I, I didn't go to the type of clubs Eddie Long go to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't go to, I didn't go to them type of clubs. Eddie Long went to clubs like Bulldogs and, and some of these right. other joints. I don't even know the other joints, you know. But you ain't, uh, yeah. you, ain't, uh, you ain't seen no Creflo up in that joint either. Uh, well, I believe I, you know what I may not have seen Creflo, but I, I guarantee you Creflo been in some joints that had VIP, so he wouldn't be seen. He's a smart. He's smart because Creflo about that dollar. That's why they call him right. Creflo Dollar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he got a he got a big ass plane too, from what I heard. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, uh, and, and the thing about it. He got support from people over uh, in another country to help him get that plane. Because they, they wanted him to continue coming there, spreading what he spread. Now, I don't know what he spread, but that's what they that's what they gave him to help him get that plane for. You know, he but... Uh, spread, he need, need to spread <clears throat> some wealth around these uh, urban communities. I know that. Yeah, but uh, Mark Jackson needs the job, man. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, our team... Uh, uh, I would the team. Need to hire Mark Jackson. Well, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I would team. I would team. Put down three candidates for for the job next year because um, Doc Rivers. Yeah, Mark Jackson and Van Gundy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they put that I'd, down. I'd so fine. I'd be fine with any one of them. As a matter of fact, I'd be fine with all three of them. Have oh. somebody be the head coach. Have somebody be the you know coach the defense, and then the other guy be you know be an assistant. Uh, you you want all three, huh? You, you I want all three on the staff. Hey, might as well. Dolan got that type of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. exactly. Is that exactly? Yeah, but hey, man. You check out um. You check out that game last night, Philly and uh, Milwaukee. Oh yeah, yeah. How Philly was dogging Milwaukee, and uh, yeah. Milwaukee all of a sudden turned on the Jets and just you yeah. know, tuck Philly up out of it. Yeah, man, Milwaukee is the sleeper team that nobody talking about. But they got problems of starting games at home, man. They be losing by 10, 15, 20 points at home, and then they got to use all that energy because the Greek freak is a freak. The Greek freak is doing his thing, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a beast. Yeah, yeah, he's man, a, you know. He's, he's a beast. Uh, uh, definitely. Minute, though. They're big. Milwaukee's big. They, I, I'm disappointed by them. And, and and I I guess it's part of the reason why they've been playing the way they've been for you know the last month or so. Right. Like how do you how do you let how do you let PJ McConnell drive to the paint and score on you? Oh uh, man. Uh, how, how do you, how do you let that happen? They don't they don't know how to knock people down no more, man. That's what it is. I mean the defense is subject now, man. Everybody want to be an offensive player. Nobody want to play right. defense, man. That's the whole thing. I oh, mean, Trey. Trey, that fight came on at Showtime, man. 
They have fights on Showtime and HBO this weekend.